Yo, what is good guys? My name is Mike and today I got you guys a team deathmatch on the map lockdown using the type 95 with the rapid fire and the extended mags I believe because I saw that I have a two attachment for two attachments proficiency when I previewed this uh, video before I started doing this commentary and I saw the little burst fire thingy when it comes out of the gun when you shoot it that doesn't have a silencer and oh my god I just hate the hit detection in this game I mean I forgot to put this in my multiplayer review but Infinity War really really has to fix the multiplayer uh not hit detection my bad well uh, the like people the player collision my bad because like sometimes i say it and then i forget it and i have like short-term memory loss i should like go to a mental hospital or something but <laughs> but uh the player collision in this game i mean i hate it i mean like i hate it when like you spawn and then you just like keep hitting one person and you're just like ah i mean i've died so many times by just hitting people like hitting my teammates and then they would kill both of us and I'd be like no and then I quit the game so <laughs> but uh today I want to talk about is the oh yeah I'm sorry <laughs> I forgot to say about the perks and the the uh, kill streaks because I don't want you guys to be going what perks is he using because I want to be good like him I want to use the kill streaks that he's using <laughs> but uh, the perks that I'm using is side of hand quick draw and steady aim uh, this is the only class that I use quick draw and steady aim on an assault rifle except for, uh, ex except for the MK14 the MK14 is the like the type 95 and the MK14 are the only two guns that I use quick draw on and steady aim is the only gun that I use on an assault rifle which is the type 95 and so and the kill streaks that I'm using is the UAV the attack helicopter and the pavlo I believe and today I want to talk about is the using kill streaks in different types of game modes and to start this off is that there's three strike packages in modern warfare 3 there's assault there's support and there's specialist now I'm going to give a brief description about those three strike packages if you don't really know what they are. Uh, the first strike package is Assault. I mean, if you're a person that are really willing to go for those high kill gameplays, like let's say 50 kill gameplays, 60 kill gameplays, all that stuff, the Assault strike package is really good. For, will be really good for you. I know it's good for me because I love trying to get those high kills and like mowing down people in those choppers and all that stuff. So I mostly use uh, Assault for 90% of the time uh, whenever I'm playing Team deathmatch or domination or kill confirmed or whatever and the second strike package is support and it's basically i don't want to say it but it's kind of like for people that aren't, aren't really good at the game i mean let's say you're a starting player and you're getting uh, used to the flow and everything i mean support would be really good for you because it, what you're doing is that you're basically supporting your team with uavs counter uavs sentry guns and all that stuff and it's also a strike package for someone that doesn't really like getting those kills and everything and doesn't really care and just goes for the objectives that'll be a really good thing to use because you have you know the advanced uav you got the stealth bomber you got the remote sentry you got the the what's it called the escort airdrop and all that stuff and the specialist is the the strike package and someone sent me a message or something i don't even know what it says but the specialist is a strike package that I would have to say a uh, strike package that you could go that you can use to go for the MOAB, but basically it's a it's a strike package that where each kill you get you earn perks and when you get onto an eight kill streak, um, and someone sent me a text I don't know what it is but <laughs> um, it's a strike package where you gain perks all on the way and when you get a per and a perk streak a kill streak you get all the perks in the game and what i really want to talk about is using the assault strike package and uh, a lot of people are trying to get osprey gunners and the and the juggernaut suits in team deathmatch and i'm just like what the hell are you are you serious i mean do you expect to get a 17 kill streak in a 7500 game of team deathmatch i mean i in ground war i'd understand but in regular team deathmatch that's not really necessary because next because a lot of people are going to be killing other people cuz that's basically the objective you have to kill people that's it but and um I mean, free for all, I don't understand, but because it goes up to 30, but team deathmatch, I mean, sometimes I go games where I could just go 9 and 0 and 10 and 0, you know? And, and um, I would have to recommend that you would have to use low lower kill streaks in the assault strike package 
to go for good games in, t in regular team deathmatch. Like, what I would recommend is just using, like, the Predator Missile, UAV, and Attack Helicopter or whatever. But since, like, I would have to say I'm a, I'm a good player player in this game i mean i have a 2.45 ratio in this game and i do really really well in most of the matches that i play on i mean a lot of them i rage quit but <laughs> but i mostly use the predator missile the reaper and the pavlo and i usually do good sometimes i use them in domination because i don't really feel like using the osprey gunner but if you're playing domination or ground war or kill confirmed i'd, I'd rather use the osprey gunner or the ac-130 i mean the setup that i use when i'm playing on kill confirmed or ground war or whatever and i feel like using that kill streak is the predator missile the ac-130 and the osprey gunner because the pavlo i mean it's good for a player i mean that just runs around gets kills by himself and also a helicopter basically protects him by getting i'd have to say the pavlo gets about like five to seven kills but like it the kills are at random points you know for the pavlo i mean like you can be like six away from the from let's say the osprey gunner and then when you die and you're just like no i mean and then next thing you know the pavel starts killing people and you're just like what the hell so i'd rather uh use the ac-130 going for the osprey gunner because you know where all the people are and you I basically do it manually but i hope you guys enjoyed this video my final score is 34 and 7 and i don't know if i got the last kill cam but my name is mike i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like i'd really appreciate a favorite if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe my name is mike Mike, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys later. Bye.